Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back, I'm Debbie if you don't know me. So for today's video I'm just going to do a kind of cosy Christmas tutorial. I've got my Christmas PJs on and I wanted to take some inspiration from the characters that are on here. So a little bit of brown, a little bit of green and some red and yeah just make it a cosy kind of vibe. So there's no other point to this video other than that and just a, a little bit of a Christmassy chat I suppose. So without further ado we'll jump into it. I'll show you the palettes that I'm going to do this with and we'll do a Christmassy look together. Okay so the palettes that we're going to use to create the look today then are going to be the Serenity palette from Cosmic Brushes because I'm going to take the green matte from here. It's a very Christmassy green in there but most of the shadows we're going to take from this palette which is our other palette the Royal Rose. So that's what we're going to do but before we get into the eye look just going to do cheeks together. I've done all the rest of my face makeup and my brows but we're going to use Nabla's Adults Only as blush. Fancied a nice red blush today and a bit glowy and we're going to apply that with the Amora Mariposa's brushes which I've just bought another set of. Melt have got a fantastic sale going on at the moment and I'm such a sale girl. I'm terrible for sales so the sale is 40% off site wide including things that are in the sale so I picked up a set of the brushes for £17 and they've got free delivery worldwide as well. So I ended up buying two more of their palettes because I just love their palettes and whenever they've got a sale because they are expensive that's the time to pick them up I think. So I've got the Mary Jane which I know a lot of people don't like but I love cool tones. I don't think people like the shimmers but I'm okay with that. I'll just pull in another shimmer if they're not any good but you know I can normally make things work one way or another so... So yeah, I picked up that one and the 27, which has got some very interesting tones and they're definitely my kind of tones and no one really talks about that one, but it's an older palette anyway. And then I picked up the Genesis highlights, so excited for all those things to come. I've been a little bit naughty. Whenever there's a sale, I can't help myself these days. So I think my no buy or low buy has gone out the window, but it is Christmas time. Got to treat yourself at Christmas, haven't you? So I'm going in with the Space Age Prophecy Highlight from Kaleidos as my highlight. I fancied a really multi-chrome kind of sparkly highlight today. And this one is so magical on the cheeks. It's so beautiful. I would like to get their other one like this, the gifted one, because that's really pretty, but it's just got such a magical glow. You can't really even like do it justice on camera, I don't think. So, so pretty. So I might have also bought a couple of the Star Wars palettes from Pat McGrath as well, the Quince. Super excited for those. I got the Sith one and the Droid one. So yeah, really excited for those. You know me and Pat McGrath and yeah, I couldn't resist getting those. I was a bit too late to get all three of them. They're sold out as a, a bundle. So I couldn't get the golden one, but yeah, I got the other two. So yeah, excited for those. So there'll be new things coming in the new year. It'll take that long to get here with the strikes in the UK. We're going to go in with eyeshadow primer now. This is NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk because I just fancied to use this one today. It's one of my favourites as you guys probably know. So I was going to film yesterday and my last video which I did which was the album art inspired video. I was like there's a video coming tomorrow and it's not the next day. It's the day after. But throughout that day I've got a mouth ulcer and I think when I like get stressed from work or whatever and then I like stop that seems to be when everything happens to me because I'm lovely and relaxed now but I've been stressed like in the last couple of weeks leading up to my holiday but this mouth ulcer swelled up so much that this side of my my lip just looked like I'd had like lip injections in just the worst possible way. No shade on anyone that has lip injections but it didn't look flattering on me or not one-sided anyway. <laughs> so I just didn't really want to film like that. It's uh, gone down now, it's still a little bit there but I don't think it's too noticeable now. So that was really strange. I've never had one swell like that before. Uh, thankfully that's gone because I didn't want that for when I go away on holiday or for Christmas. But I was having my hair done yesterday anyway, just my normal maintenance, like my roots and a bit of a trim. And then I just watched Christmas films yesterday, which was nice. 
So we're going to go in with Lagoon as our first shade out of the Serenity palette. And I'm going to pop that through my crease. Now I want to sort of do it on a bit of an angle. So I'm going to use the angled brush from the Amora Mariposas just to help me kind of get that shape. Because I don't want to do a wing today, but I thought I'd kind of do a winged out shape to the eyeshadow, if that makes sense. So getting that right in sort of this outer corner is always the fun bit, but then after that this will be an easy look to create, I think. I didn't want anything too complicated. Yeah, I watched Spirited yesterday. The Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds went, oh, it's so good. I love musicals though, and it's funny, the songs are great in it. It's got so many references to like A Christmas Carol and whatever, but it's done in like such a different way. I was like enthralled with it, it's magical honestly, a really, really good movie. And the other one I watched is I Believe in Santa, I don't recommend that one. I didn't like the, the male lead in it, he was a bit annoying, couldn't really like relate to the the female in it either who didn't like Christmas so no that one's for me that one I did watch it all the way through I mean I didn't give up on it but but it wasn't my favorite I've seen a lot better movies in my time and a lot of Christmas movies aren't that great to be quite honest with you they're normally like bad acting or whatever I have seen Falling for Christmas though and that falls in the category of like so cheesy it's good I think it's so cute it's such a good like vibe, you, you, it's a feel good, do you know what I mean? So I saw that one, I think after I filmed my video on Tuesday, I watched that one. It's honestly been so nice to have some time just to do what I want to do when I want to do it, it's lovely. Today was sad, we took our cats to the cattery today and the house just feels so empty without them, it's not right. And there was such a queue to like, go and book them in. There's so many people leaving their animals at Christmas. I felt guilty. I felt like we're the only ones going to do that. But there was, as I say, lots of people there doing the exact same thing. And Benji in particular, he's a, a spotted tabby. He's like such a sensitive little soul. He's like, he never leaves my side. He never hardly goes out. He's like really nervous sort of disposition anyway. And he looked terrified when we dropped him off. I just keep seeing that kind of vision every time I think about it. So, bless him. But they say he settles really well once he's there. So, hopefully he'll be okay. But it's just, yeah, I hate leaving them. And it's just not right. Like, normally, wherever I sit, he'll be on my lap. He'll follow me around the house. Then I've got a black cat who's completely the opposite. And he, like, he was ex-feral, so... He likes hunting, bringing us horrible things in the house, but he's not a people cat necessarily. He's quite happy to do whatever he's doing. But at the moment he will come in quite a bit because obviously the weather's not very nice. It's quite rainy and depressing this week. We had lovely snowy, frosty weather last week. I was like, this is really Christmassy, really beautiful, but it never lasts. Right, that's the shape I wanted. I'm going to get a bit of depth in the crease, so I think I'm going to go in with Forest, this one here. I hope that doesn't turn it too blue looking. I think it's going to be okay. I just want to, as I say, just get a bit of depth in the crease. So I'm just running that through the crease with a really small brush. This is a Morphe E36. I'm going to put a green shimmer on the lid, but I just think it would benefit from just having a bit more depth and definition in the crease. And I decided to go lighter first and then darker, which I don't often do, but decided to do it that way today. Sometimes it's easier actually that way. These shadows are so good anyway. I think the Serenity palette is definitely the palette of the year for me if I was to do a palette ranking with the limited amount of palettes that I've tried. I can't really rank my purchases. I've not got them all yet and I've not tried everything that I have got. <laughs> and sometimes I don't necessarily want to try things when I first get them. I'm really strange like that. Like a lot of people are like as soon as they get something they're diving in on it. I kind of like almost want to look at them for a while and I'd be the worst reviewer from that point of view because <laughs> I'm not 
like dying to use everything that's new and I quite like dipping back in my collection and using older things. Yeah, let's deepen that up really well. Just gonna go back in now and just help with the blend over the top of that, but that's definitely given us a lot more intensity, which is what I wanted. As I say, I just wanted to make this super simple to do today, really, nothing too crazy. She says with a big wing <laughs> going on. I'm hoping to get two more videos filmed before I go on holiday. I go on holiday on the 26th on Boxing Day. I probably won't film on Christmas Day, but I'm hoping to film on Friday and on Christmas Eve. We're going to see the Muppets Christmas Carol on Christmas Eve, so I was thinking I might film with the Muppets palette if I get time before we go. That'll be nice to then be wearing that palette. Not that anyone will know, but to be wearing that one while I'm there at the cinema. I'm going to just dip into this palette into Queen Bee, this one here, just to fade out that green. Just taking that above the, the green and practically all the way up to my brows, to be honest. That's a nice shade though, It'd be a very nice transition shade. I wanted to get a little bit of caramelly kind of goodness into the look. So I say I want this to be quite a cosy kind of look, even though it's dramatic as well. We'll do the lower lash line next and leave the lids till last, I think. For the lower lash line, I want to get some red on the lower lash line. So I think I'm going to go in with the shade Royal. I don't know if that's going to be deep enough. We might need to deepen it a bit, but we'll see. So I'm going to press Royal really close to my lower lashes. And kind of meet up with that wing we've got going on in the outer corner. Just taking that brush that I'd got Queen Bee on it and just blending that out a bit. I've got no additional product. I do like that red though, that stayed really red which is nice. I do just want to get a bit more depth in there though so I'm going to go in with Romance, this one here. And press that super close to the lower lashes. Yeah, that's good. That's giving us just that bit more depth. So I'm going to put white in my waterline. On the front part of my lower lash line here, I'm going to use the shade Enchanted, which is a satin shade. I'm just going to run that close to my lashes, just in this inner part here. My favourite precise pencil brush in my collection. I love this one. That's why I wanted another set of these for this brush, really. But these brushes are supposed to be crazy expensive. I think they were supposed to be about 70 or 80 pounds initially. I bought mine with the whole Amora Mariposa set, but, but yeah, that's what they should have been. So I'm going with a bit more of that Queen Bee shade, the caramel shade. I just really want to make everything kind of blown out on this level lash line. I'm going to cut my lids with NYX Glitter Primer. I'm going to go all the way across my lids, inner to outer. Just a little bit higher than my natural crease line. And then we're going to use the shade Balloon from the Royal Rose palette. And pack that all over the lids. Just in the outer corners, I'm going to go in with that deepening shade we use, that forest shade. Just use a touch of that just in the outer V there, just to give us that touch of depth and also help to blend the shimmer into the mattes there. I don't want to use a whole ton of that though because I don't want to make it too deep of a look. For an inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with Royal Rose, this one here. That's a really magical kind of rose gold shades. It's really pretty. Could have used the highlighter, the Prophecy highlighter, but this is in a very similar tone actually to the highlighter. Super, super pretty glinting there in the corners. Okay, so that's the look to this point. Just gonna hop off camera, just for a swing of my waterline, mascara and a lip, and I'll be back with you to show you the finished look. 
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Really love how it turned out. It's a bit more intense than I expected. It's still got the cosy vibes, but it's got a bit of intensity. It's got some grunginess about it. Yeah, I really like it. And decided not to go with a red lip today. I've gone with a bit more of a nude, darker nude. This is Platinum by Nabla. Came out with one of their cutie palettes, the Platinum palette. Love this one. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing this one. I can't wait to play with that Royal Rose palette again. It's definitely got some beautiful shades. I love how they create their palettes in such a way that there's so many directions you can take the look, but it's not a rainbow palette, you know. You've got some standouts like with the purple and the turquoise. It's predominantly a sort of pink and red and orangey kind of romantic colour story and it's going to be gorgeous for Valentine's Day so definitely be playing with that one again but that green shade Bloom it's just so magical on the lids it's almost a satin shade I suppose but it's so rich and vibrant and intense really love it so yeah it's a lot of fun to do this one I definitely think I achieved the brief I set out for which is kind of cosy Christmas so Hope you've enjoyed watching this one and just having a little Christmas catch up with me. And hopefully I'm going to be filming tomorrow. And I think I might use the BH Naughty palette because I've not used that one in a couple of years and I just fancy giving it some love. And we might do something kind of cranberry, berry toned because I've not done that for a little while as well. So hope you might stay tuned for that but thank you so much for watching this one and if you're not subscribed please do so if you want to be and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my future uploads but other than that guys hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys